apparently is the name of his bear. Now, at least I'm just making his kill on KP. Yeah, he's not really bad. But at least he's like, making his test making. Are you going inside the car? The Bukaka actually was outside of the car. He's just not able to help take the battery. So now, at least I'm not able to get away barely. I can't cut the boogie, but he's going to be under the power. Bukaka just turns and fights against KP as much as possible because they still work on him. So it's going to be Ruby picking up a double kill, and he's still going to be able to walk his own cap door here. He doesn't have a whole lot of Shikuchi time to play with here. It's just now coming up. Goes the distance with the Witch Doctor cast follow up with the King. The Malakim on top of that. They only need a little bit more damage. Let's see the wand. Oh, that's going to do a lot of it. So we've got him here. Should be able to get through this. And he's going to be able to get the root on the Witch Doctor. Guaranteeing a turnaround kill. Exotic to you. Just a little lucky there. Managed to get himself a shun. And shit, no. They are going to be able to catch Cats over here. Maybe that's the damage level 6. Malakim through a good amount of damage. And SCC will ensure we a couple more auto attacks. Doesn't manage to push SCCD back, but because they got in the room, he's going to be able to live. Now he pops himself out of the back, does go down. They're still able to get the Beast Master kill pretty easily. Two kills going away of Newbie here. They group up spirits, so they should have enough damage here. But they're going to get the double shot with the kick. Shot of gear. He doesn't even have the Savage War up from that earlier engagement. So they get the roll in on the Beast Master. They had a super deep ward. Just level 9 is possible. Hoping to be able to get level 6. They know there's a ward there now. They have to know there's a ward. Yeah, 100%. They kinged it twice. Because you don't just take that rotation down there. Take this area. They're going to roll in here. You catch Castor. Now, at least on to make his way over here. We're going to try and go for the TC. I'm going to paralyze this Castor there just in time. And that's really nice by them. The fact that they were over, able to protect that ward for so long. Yeah. Okay. Killed after that. Playing <laughs> <laughs> the tree here. He's going to be caught by a CC. Who can get the clock push back on the SC? That means he has a on top of the clock ward. All those remnants pretty easy kill for him. Another great rap there from Newbie. This support duo is just going to come Oh, no, 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 Triple kill for newbie. That trap on the storm spirit, not really worth it. If the movement was there, going to now. It is a sound stuff, right? Trying to pop out the attack, and he's just not going to have the opportunity to pop the Shikuchi. No way! 12 to 5. Radiant structure. Like you're hoping that Nisha is able to carry you. Because normally you should be able to. Like the old AM would win this game. I don't know how the new one programs in. But this is a very nice anti-mage game. If there's anything to be believed about AM left in this cruel world. We haven't spoke too much about KP. He's kind of had a, an annoying life. But it's acceptable. He's gotten his farm, he's been burned down a mana multiple times, chased away from his lane constantly, but he has gotten a soul ring first, and then now has the arcane boots just full on man on man to make sure he's able to deal with the mana burn. But a great deal with Moogie, who is a hero hunting machine right now with a debuse of blade anytime he gets on top of somebody, besides maybe the AM. They are pretty much all going to be done. And then Micro is trying to go for a kill here on KP. Now he should just jump inside these cogs. KP is oh to the Ravage here and it's just going to get popped by the ultimate. So feeling like uh, he may not escape anyway. Better to keep the Ravage intact. Yeah. And this is where the anti base now begins to get really farmed really fast. But he may have spotted that one out there. So he's going to be able to grab the silence as well. It doesn't have a chance to be able to spell that one just yet. The newbie's game does come in at the right time. You can see the effect of that Kaya. A long jump like that, and he still had to manage to jump again and get a grab. On top of that, he had the DD runes, yeah. which allows him to get that. Right not having oh, any well, of the towers. He just doesn't move fast enough to be able to get a Cog's pushback on him. So he's going to get pursued. Oh! Savage Roar, Mookie didn't actually get hit by the Savage Roar, he just chose not to pursue for that one. That was really neat. Yeah. Dyer's middle tower. Probably for the best, especially since it has the TP on the shrine. Long jump into the Kaka, just go for LD's up here. Now LD's up here, trying to get a kill on Kaka in return, but NCC is able to finish him off before the kill goes down on the Earth Spirit Wave. He's able to finish off that Tricky Centaur. Dyer's top tower. They were looking for a little bit of a lot of it, but I have to say, Thor is going to be able to catch 
him, telekinesis goes down, but he can't actually do anything from the start. That would be worth it. He had already popped the remnant, so he wouldn't be able to get the here. Exotic here, and high. Maybe there it goes. They turn around the primal one as well, the Weaver. Pursuit goes down. He's got a lot of bugs on him, too. Ruki might be able to finish him off here. Tries to get it the up. Up, 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 No, he's still managed to get a time out of the way to safety as well. Beastmaster, he's not getting much of anything either. Oh, he's not going to go for him. He's going to go for him. Soldier, he's going to go for him. He's going to go for him. Oh, look at that. Regen room. Thank you, I saw. I'll take that. And then he's got LZ Sarge to be the winner of the West Punishment for daring to interfere with Storm Spirit. He's going absolutely nuts right now. Something like that. And he loses it, the game is just over. Yeah. And that's why uh, for newbie, normally it's you grab the Aegis and you grab all the other towers, Dyer's you slow down the pace of the game, you farm out everywhere. But because they have this kind of lead and they know this anti mage doesn't want to commit to the fight, it has to be faster. Normally you can afford to get away with the kill. They're going to try and kill him up. They actually push the silence first. And attack. the kick goes out as well, meaning Nietzsche is really able to TP out. So close. If he had managed to kick just a little bit sooner. But Nisha able to react so quickly. And look at his team. They're going to follow him into this bottom lane. Especially with the Radiance now. So they may lose Dyer's the tier 3. But are they going to fight over this second layer? Of yeah. So we'll take this pop <laughs> on Storm. They're going to BKB and is able to contest. This is going to be this tight lane push. This is going to be the one that gives King one a hope at being able to tie up this series with Ruby and keep their hopes for a top 3 and early Radiance top 3. Pop. Here at Perfect World, Nisha already down to half health. Look at that backs damage. Himself away. They need a hard initiation for Nisha to be able to follow up, and they're just not getting the opportunity to do so against these lane Now they get a final roll out. He's going to the first one. He's going to the Another force that goes down. He gets to the back line. Nisha now starting to push. He's going to the first one. He's going to the first one. the back line. There goes Rav Jeff from Castor. He's going to the first one. 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 He